Well, we're here in the middle of the Cotswolds, which are these hills in the west of England. I managed to find this farmhouse, which was uh, almost derelict. It's been wonderful as a base for the, for the family. And it's sort of a home, I think. I mean, home is, is a center, it's a hearth, it's, it's a place where the family can meet. Um, I mean, we're very lucky here that we have this site which looks down the valley and it's incredibly quiet, apart from the sound of nature. I think nature is, you know, central to architecture. Of course, you wouldn't have uh, any architecture without nature. So sustainability is the most important thing because without sustainability, we have no world to exist in. Um, but I think, I mean, I'm optimistic about sustainability and the fact that more and more people are conscious. You know, I came to architecture relatively late. I wasn't, it wasn't until I was 30 that I actually went to architecture school. I mean, I tried everything. Um, you know, I'd been a photographer, uh, a teacher at university, and I'd worked for my father in, in the fashion business for six years. And everyone said to, to, to me, oh, you can't do architecture because you don't do maths, or you can't do architecture uh, because you haven't trained and you can't do architecture and, and all these things. And of course, you know, being a good son, I listened to all this uh, stuff. So, you know, I was so thrilled eventually and to, to get to architecture late, it was, it's, I think in a way it was a, a, an advantage because I was able to absorb all these different cultures, you know, living in Japan for four years, uh, living in Australia for one year, uh, traveling through India and Afghanistan and, you know, for more years. So I, I had all this background of architecture, but no real application. So it, it's been a question of following the river for, for, for the last 40 years. And it's just every single minute has been exciting for me. And of course, I've got an amazing team. It's allowed me to produce a lot more than I would have done if I was just on my own. The, the most important thing with Passoni is, I think, is the, the attitude to creating something. And, I mean, of course you, you want the expertise and you, you want the quality and the ability to do structural things for the chair. But I think it's, it's the attitude and the, and the sort of confidence that it gives a designer to, to have somebody like Passoni doing it. I always thought the chair is the most difficult thing to design of any kind of architecture. I mean, it's, to be successful, I mean, it has to be light, it has to be elegant, people have to look good sitting in the chair, um, it has to look good on its own. And if you can design a, a dining chair that can also be used in the sitting room or the reception room, I think this is great. I did try years ago to do a chair and it wasn't, it wasn't the right moment. So I'm so pleased that now I've, I've finally done I can tick it. it. I mean, as I said, it's the, doing a chair is more difficult than doing a skyscraper or a monastery or any of these things. It's, a, it's, it's the holy grail, I think, for architects. And, uh, and it's so nice that I think the chairs turned out um, not only comfortable and elegant and strong and, and looks good and, and creates space around it. It's, it's um, you know, it's, 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 there's something, there's some presence with it, I think. What do you think, Lockie? Hmm? Yes. Yeah.